It created admin deck. How? how that happened? How on earth we bypass the security feature or uh, the developer's brilliant logic by just adding one property? How many of you consider secure coding practices when you do coding? How many of you consider whether my code has a backdoor for a hacker or not? How many of you consider whether my code can manipulate by some user or not? Most of the time, we don't consider these type of secure coding practices when we code it. Why? Because with the times, we mostly, most of the time, we consider somehow get the functionality to work. But sometimes, unknowingly, we are introducing some, some sort of vulnerabilities to our code which can lead to catastrophic failures in future. Even when we do QA testing, most of the time, we focus on the functional testing, not the uh, penetration testing or a security testing. Even though we do a penetration testing, most of the time we consider like SQL injection, uh, cross-site scripting, kind of a common attack. But we usually don't check this, the, the prototype attack, what I'm going to de demonstrate today. Why? Because this kind of people don't consider. But this has more impact, this has more danger even than the SQL injection because this can completely manipulate your data. Okay. So without further ado, let's dig into the code and see what is the prototype uh, poisoning and how that works. And also, if you're not subscribed to this channel, you must subscribe because if you're a software engineer, a senior engineer, a tech lead, an architect, doesn't matter who you are, you have something in this channel. So let's go. Most of the time we can demonstrate this using a, a simple Node.js Express API, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to demonstrate this using a Nest API, Nest.js API for two reasons. One, because a lot of people think NestJS don't have such vulnerability or when you use higher framework like a NestJS, you uh, protected from this type of vulnerability. No, NestJS suffer this vulnerability as well. And number two, if you consider uh, usual JavaScript based API, we need to use uh, things like a JSON pass and you feel like, okay, this is what introduced in this problem. No. So the most, a lot of libraries suffer this problem and so many libraries already fix this problem, but let's see what the problem and see how we can prevent from that. Okay. So even though you're not familiar with the Nest, it finds simply like a, a REST API, a usual Express-based REST API, okay? So this is a very simple, innocent app. What we are trying to do here, let's see. So we have a user, right? We have a user object here, right? It's just a name department is uh, super user and the grab the URL. And then if you get to go to the controller, we have a something called a base user, that means if user not set the uh, gravity URL or user not set the name, then we have some default value for those things. We usually do this all the time. If you want some default properties, we have that default property object and we overlap that and if the user supply the properties, it will override, otherwise it will go with the default property. We all the time do this, okay? This is what we are doing here. And we have a simple hard-coded access key, right? Just you can consider this is coming from uh, like your old server or somewhere, right? But the demo purpose, I hard-coded that. So what this does is, if you want to create an admin user on your system, right? So you need to set the e super user property to true. But if you are setting that, you need to send the access key, right? If you are not setting the right access key, the correct access key, then it will not create a, a super user, but it will just uh, error out saying your access key is invalid, right? And then if not, if you're trying to create a, a usual user, what it does is, so it go to uh, this line and it will take your user object and copy into the default property, default user object, and then it call the create user method. Right, here in this service, what supposed to do is this talk to the repository and persist this in the database, but uh, to demonstrate whether you be created the super user or not, I am returning it. If it is a super user property is enabled, we are returning as admin account created. If it is not, we are returning as a user account created. So now, I mean, we don't have a two different method, uh, like if cases in the real world, real world, this will just process the database, but we need to make sure we created super user account while we are trying to create a normal user account through, it, through the prototype uh, poisoning, right? So that's why I have this written type. So I hope you understand. So now why we do this? Because here we're protecting. That is the developer's mind, right? Okay, if the user enable, then uh, if it's only access key is provided, only we can go in. Otherwise, we can go in. So that means here user expect there can be any super users unless otherwise you provided the token. Okay, right, cool. So now let's go and uh, run this. 
Okay, so let's go back and try this API. So see here we have usual payload, name is Nairobi, department is SC. So now if you're trying to create that, it will create a user account, right? It's perfectly as expected. So now I'm trying to send the is super user, right? And I'm going to set that to true. And when that set, set that to true, I must pass the access key because otherwise it will fail. And here now I'm going to pass access key equal A, B, C at one, two, three. That was my access key. And if it is passed, it create admin account. But if you provide the wrong access key and still it will allow. API work exactly as expected. So we do the developer testing. We are so happy. Okay. Until, until someone find this problem. Okay. So now we clearly understand if we don't know the key, we can try send this e super user account because it's error. Right. So now developer happy. My code is working fine. Okay. First, I'm going to poison this and create an admin account. And then I'm going to show you how this work. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a key called proto here, right? And under the proto key, I'm going to create this account, this one, right? And under the proto, I'm going to put the, this one. Okay. So this is what I did, right? Rather than I am just setting the is super user true, I wrap this with the special key called proto, right? So now, previously, it's error out saying uh, internal server error because token is mismatched. If you go here, you can see the key is invalid, right? I didn't throw that error, but it shows its key is invalid. So now let's see what happened when we execute this. Wow, it created admin account. How that happened? How on earth we bypass the security feature or uh, the developer's brilliant logic by just adding one property? Okay. So now let's dig in and see how this happened, what happened to us, okay? So usually when you get to any JavaScript object, they use something, a special key called proto underscore underscore proto underscore underscore. That is the key they're using that to give the access to the prototype of the object. So this is a deprecated feature from the ECMAScript, but JavaScript is still using it. So now what happened? So when you get a uh, JSON string and when you send it through the JSON.pass to convert it to a JavaScript object, so that proto, the object, the special proto object is being created. But if you are sending the same key using the JSON payload, what happens is this conversion doesn't read, doesn't take that and put into the, the proto underscore underscore proto inbuilt object, but it creates separately under the uh your object right so now what happened here we are using object dot assign right here object dot assign we are using this uh this this uh, default object and we are uh, assigning this the new object newly come payload into this object but the developer's expectation is override the default properties and create the full object right so now what happened here since this conversion keep this proto key as a, a key of an object, then this treat when, you, when you're copying into the new object, it take this key and copy into your new object. Since the new object already have a key called is super user, but though value doesn't set, now the value coming from the proto object will set here. Okay, I understand it's like a Greek. Okay, so let me do debug. Let me to go to the debug mode and show you that. Okay. So I'm going to put a debug pointer here and I'm going to run this on uh, in a debug mode. Okay, so it's run and now um, let's let's send the request without a proto. Okay, then I'll show you how exactly this happened. So now if you get this terminal, right, let's go to the debug console. So now if I get the user object, right? So you can see here, user Nairobi department SC. So you can see here, there is a default uh, key automatically created called proto. It has all the access to the proto method, like kind of a prototype of the object, okay? So now what I'm going to do is, now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go here and add my proto custom object here right so now when i got back here so i'm going to get the user again right so now you can see the proto what we sent here right and here 
right you can see if you take this these two right you don't see any different much okay because only the difference is you can see there is a no proto here there is a proto here because we got that so now see what happened when you're going through this one okay so now i'm going to go here and we construct the new user using object dot assign i mean when you debug you can go in and see where this exactly happened so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to get the new user okay so you can see new user right it, so we didn't send this gravity url and gravity url image property because it's uh, it's it is in this base image and it copied so now if you go back here now you can see is super user is true there is a property called super user clear the console and now i'm going to use here's the new user again and new user dot is super user Oops. super user u, u capital right it says true right it says true so now that is why when you go to the service uh, service will fall into this thing thinking this is a super user right so now though we bypass the key we don't have the key we could bypass it and just create an admin account on your database uh, but we do we didn't supply the key so developer don't think like this so that's why i mean if the developer knows there is a vulnerability like this in uh, object assign method then they will uh, pay attention to that so why this is happening in the nest js because under the hood when you uh, when you serialize in your json string to your object they usually use object designs or a json pass type of method internally so they are carrying this prototype uh, vulnerability to your code okay so how you can prevent this there are multiple ways you can manually check with the uh, you can manual you can use a libraries or a method which is we don't have this vulnerability for example load as fix this uh, one and deep library fix this one there are many libraries if you google you can find they fix this issue this fix this problem right so now I have this one to show you. I have this one to show you this in uh, like more elegant way in a plain object. If you if you're thinking it's a plain uh, program, then how this works, right? So again, I'm going to uh, run a debug mode, and I'm going to add a debug pointer here. Okay. So this is just a JSON string because if you're using a basic Node.js application, this is how it would work. So this would be a get call. So I'm going to use the get and here, right? So you can see the JSON value is this, right? So if you go to um, the debug console and JSON value, and you can see it just has an Nairobi and the proto, right? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this, right? So now you have the user. So now you have a user object created, right? Now I have two, now this is JSON string and this is just a user object. So now if you get the user object, right? So user object also has this proto property, right? So it doesn't matter whether it is coming from the JavaScript uh, object to the uh, JavaScript object to uh, JSON object, or you just create a J uh, JavaScript object directly. It doesn't matter. It always has this prototype, um, this proto key. So that is what causing this vulnerability. So anyway, so now I hope you get an idea. So if you're using object assign or some type of a cloning method, you need to make sure there is a vulnerability called prototype uh, poisoning, and then you can be a victim or your code can be a victim of this poisoning. So we'll see you in the next video. Until then, stay safe, take care.